All right, so here's how to reset the filter status on a smart vent positive plus unit. So, fair warning, um, this video is a little bit um, of a mix up because I kind of stuffed up and part of the way, but anyway. Step one is to turn off the unit by pressing and holding the power button or icon. So step two is to uh, press and hold where the settings button uh, would be. Now on this screen here, the 000 refers to the parameter that you're trying to change. Now on this one here, the 3.7 that it says, uh, that refers to the version of the firmware this particular one uses. Now. I'm not 100% sure if this is the same as the positive twos, but with the positive twos, the ones where it's up to version 1.5, you need to go to parameter 16. And if yours is between uh, 1.6 up to 3.7, which is the current version, then you must go to parameter 19. But like I say, that's based upon the positive twos, which I've previously done filter changes on. So in theory, these positive pluses should be the same, but I can't be 100% certain. So once you've then changed to parameter 19, um, make sure that you press this little uh, circle button to then change over to adjust the uh, filter life. Now, with the filter life, uh, the 000 refers to the amount of life left in the filter, and they go up by 10%. So to set it back to 100%, you want to make sure that you set it to 010, and then that's 100% left. And so like 005, for example, that's 50% left. 001 is 10% left. And so that's another way that you can actually monitor just how much life is left in your filter. Now, once you've sent this back to 100% uh, filter life, so 010, you've got to make sure that you press this little circle button again to lock in the uh, setting, because otherwise, if you don't, it will not save it. So then, when the 019 is flashing, the simplest way to get back out of everything is just press and hold the power button until the screen turns off. And then once the screen turns off, press and hold the power button again to turn it back on.